Hello, my favorite person, Mr. Who Reviews. Hello, everyone, my hero academia, the movie Two Heroes. Or is it turning around? I don't know. I can't come away, I think. Mm. Anyway, uh, in this first movie, Deku and All Might go to this uh, place called the uh, Eye Island, which is just like uh, a moving island that has, I guess, scientists. And that on it, and, and, and then uh, non scientific people, and you're actually allowed to use that uh, works there. Like Japan, where you're allowed to use it in defense. And when someone knows it's All Might, he and uh, Deku just get swarmed by fans, news crews, and other places. Or other people, actually, places. And uh, All Might, let's see, dare to me. Uh, his uh, old friend Dave Shield, who that's the uh, designed uh, All Might's costumes over the years, and uh, Deku has to meet uh, Dave, that seventeen-year-old uh, Dark Militia Shield, and see the scientist as well, and probably part of the support uh, team there. And does he comments on uh, Deku's uh, costume? And the two start hanging out after uh, Deku just geeks out over over uh, uh, Dave. And it turns out that Dave knows that uh, all my uh, decreasing uh, quirk, but I didn't know about the uh, one for all. Yeah, the reason all my kids is because you want the uh, Dave and let's be caught up on the uh, wolf the uh, all for one uh, thing. So, mm -hmm. and I do kind of like the flashback tab of it, uh, just showing Dave and all my day uh, younger. And uh, all looks a lot different when he was younger. You can see his eyes, right? Like uh, black shadows, with just a bit of uh, light coming out of them. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I wish there was a, like a spin off or a prequel to some you know, version of some of the heroes. Uh, you can tell that it, they're in America, it's a ball of eagles that's coming by. Yeah, apparently, when all my like younger, I guess in early 20s or something, they see, yes, yeah, a transferred or lived in America for a while. So, yeah. Anyway, eventually, uh, some of the other uh, uh, classmates of the Hero Course actually show up and they do get their reasonings. And I just love to see the Buck Girl get angry when uh, Deku and this uh, Soto has to be his uh, time and a uh, villain taking take down that thing. <laughs> yeah, it's funny to me. I during the demonstration, Melissa notices uh, that Deku is holding back his uh, quirk. And before that, he has to know the scars in his hand. So he, he gives him this uh, gauntlet that can withstand, what well, he says, three of all my punches since the, the quirk is similar. But over the course of the movie, it holds up five. Yeah, I'm guessing that Deku was either uh, pull, uh, like a, still holding back a little for some of those punches and giving it all for about two or one. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, the other reason they're here is because there's like a science expo going on under this big uh, party that gets interrupted by uh, some villains hijacking the uh, island and they uh, just uh, hacking into the security system and apparently uh, the security system is uh, drones or robot drones and when uh, Deku and the others actually find out uh, they're just uh, debating whether they, they should uh, interact or they should do some or not and let's say they uh, decide to 
So I do something, try and say some word of it by Deku and some other classmates. Um, but this is all here to go with them since he knows to cover some of this stuff. And uh, eventually they get to a place where the villains come out but they have to hide and that he spot a uh, Bongo and uh, Red Riot. Coming since Red Riot got lost. Yeah. And a bit, a big uh, villain fight. And some, some more uh, obstacles with the drones and that. And Manetta just can. Uh, is bracing to actually open the vent and open, uh, open up the, the, the uh, closing walls since uh, Hamari saying they probably get a lot of their fangirls afterwards. Ugh, that about those though, so. Anyway, let's see everything are set spilling up. And uh, they, um, the Deku and Melissa find out that the day that he organized the whole thing since he's trying to get the one of the deserts back that the science community and some world leaders uh, took w took away from him. Yeah, the is supposed to increase somebody's uh, quirk, and he has to invent it to as help out all my since you know that his quirk is depleting. And I'm just so desperate that. Uh, his assistant Sam's idea of actually hiring villains or hiring the actors to be villains. It just sounds like the only option. But then in the twist, turns out the actors can be villains. They're actual villains. Yeah, I bet he kills Sam, who has to betray the professor, who has to be helped betray by the professor. Since it seems like. You want they want to work to you know they want the fame and glory and that. And uh, the head villain shot him. And him saying to Dave that he's not, not any different from from them and that he suits him and knocks him out twice and he come back around very quickly. Twice. I don't know. And uh, this one, uh, Deku uh, is flying off some of the bad guys. And this day we got the skirts back in line. And since they had uh, all my tied up for that, the uh, all my friend was going to help the others. Uh, sort of the main villain's uh, work is a uh, metal manipulation, and he does have a little respect for Deku when he got into the. Head caught one of the still flying but still trying to kill him. And Lama does save a day, but you know, the villain is just uber powerful. And that's using that Dave's that pork enhancer tank to try to kill All Might. I kind of like buckles, but buckles that line to. Uh, I might say that the villain is a secondary uh, boss. <laughs> and it seemed like it's a hand that was firm since uh, he'd been, his, been overusing his quirk. Since I think he's been used for a long time with the robots and that. And there's another the twist, sort of, that revealed that the main villain has a, another quirk that uh, won for all. Or off one that or one of them, I gave him. I mean, that kind of been music for um, one for all. This sounds that demonic and a little bit, a little tragic, but uh. and the fight was ends with them, um, Omen Deku doing a, a smash while the other uh, UA students, uh, Draw fire, I think. And they is one with the Deku losing the gauntlet and his surplus. 
and Dave and Lama just uh, talk and it seemed like uh, Dave just scared of what the future will bring um, just want to keep this status quo and just want to do right by his friend even though he's doing some villainous and I do kind of like the songs during the end credits and it's so that uh, Dave's in the hospital and there's guards in front of his room I wonder if it's because they know that, that, that he was the one that brought the villains in or maybe because he's a scientists. scientist mm. um, like how the movie uh, began and ended with a bald eagle just flying across uh, the screen um, this is a good movie and I understand why they uh, broke the gauntlet since uh, they didn't want the deck using the full force of all for one all the time to get someone to learn some stuff. And I do kind of like the scenes where uh, some of the characters actually look at each other, but they actually uh, understand what they're thinking, whether it's uh, All Might and Dave or All Might and Deku or Deku and then Melissa. Yeah, I get why All Might, Dave, and Deku can. Understand each other's looks because they have strong bonds, but I don't didn't think that the, uh, Deku and Melissa had that strong bond since they don't know each other that uh, long, or maybe not well. Mm -hmm. And they kind of like the scene when uh, Deku finds out that Melissa is a uh, quirkless as well. And does that uh, remember what he was like when he found out he wasn't there? He didn't get the one wasn't gonna get. Orphan is now five. Um, unlike uh, him, this is just a bit happy about it since her other dream was to be like her dad and help people with science rather than uh, be heroic, well, natural folks. And I think this movie just shows that you don't need powers to be a hero. You can just say uh, use uh, your mind or gadgets or something like that. And, uh, Musicals always kind of like the part during the, the villain fight when uh, uh, you say run to the plane, that's a good hype song. And I do kind of like that uh, Ostaki was the first one to uh, face each other, join uh, Deku into fire to uh, save everybody. And I thought it next week uh, be uh, season 3 and it's a bit fun even though it's, it's getting a bit uh, darker and there's going to be consequences for some of the characters actions in it and uh, that's it, that's it, see you guys, bye.